Hello guys, uh, welcome back for another video. In this video, let us see another interesting tool called a mob SF. It is also called as mobile security framework, uh, which will be very useful for us in our static analysis and also in a dynamic analysis, which will be helping us to invoke some Frida script. So without making a further delay, uh, let us uh, see how it can be uh, installed. So go to the Chrome or any browser. So search for uh, mob SF installation. You get a GitHub book which has all the installation uh, procedures. So you can install it on your Linux also, on a Windows also, and you can install it on a Mac also. But it has some uh, few requirements. Uh, it has to be meshed. So you can you can see you can have all the downloadable links also in this. Like if you want a JDK, you will get the uh, all downloadable links from here so i will be dropping uh, the link of this in a description not an issue so make sure you install all the pre-requirements uh, needed for mobile sir install git python and uh, like you know had up html to pdf to environment variable as we saw in the last video how to set it up right so once you install this uh, i mean like yeah once you install this all the pre-requirements you have to download the uh, git library of the uh, uh, entire mobile surf, uh, framework <laughs> you can see that this is the thing let me open it and let me show you people sorry so, so this is the git git GitHub page of uh, Mob SF. It's like it, is, it, like it is very good. You can go and read so many things, collaborators, logs, like how it went and how Mob, uh, like Mob Scan uh, works and what are the, uh, you know, uh, rules and what are the algorithms they are using to scan the purpose, like to run the scans and all. Uh, so once you uh, get clone and uh, uh, like, you know, once you get it, when you are running for a first time, suppose, uh, let me show uh command prompt uh, uh, let me open a windows terminal windows 11 has a very good thing with windows terminal uh, cd desktop mobile surf, right so one when the first time you are running you have to uh, you know uh, run the uh, like setup a setup file uh, you can see like set up that bad file uh, so once you done that uh, like like you know or like it will ask you some uh, pre-required things now like you it will be shown on uh, your screen you have to just follow that so once everything is done you have to come back to this particular folder and you have to start uh, you know this mobile server by typing one dot bad like you have to give your local host ip okay sorry now when when you invoke that uh, bad file with any ip you can give any port also so like uh, like usually we give 8000 if you want you can give your 9001234 any six like anything so once you invoke uh, this run bad file you can go to your browser and you can type that ip address the mob self will be up and it will be ready to run the scans so you can directly uh, choose any apk we have downloaded recently a lot of apk site let us see any apk uh, any apk yeah we have a uh, Duolingo APK. Let me let me open it. Yeah, it is uh, loading. Yeah, it is loading, and once it loads, uh, it will take a minimum of uh, two to th th three minutes based on the size of the APK. Because uh, what what does MobSF does in a sense in a back end, it will automatically uh, unpack the APK and the uh, Crawler of the mob SF will uh, visit each and every page or uh, like, like each and every code of the entire folder structure and it will 
try to find any fancy things or strings like everything so that's why it takes a few minutes because it has to unpack the whole epic and it has to find all the codes and it has to you know uh, make it uh, in, in a proper structure that the uh, user can easily understand it right so in the meanwhile we will uh, bring up our jenny motion why jenny motion i will tell you because uh, this mob itself has a very good feature called dynamic analysis inbuilt only where you can connect your uh, jenny motion to it and you can invoke the data scripts and bypass SSL pinning uh, all those things you can do it uh, easily directly from uh, mob itself too so that is why uh, like you know uh, like it is like it is so 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 flexible and mob stuff is also used in um, malware analysis uh, because uh, this it like it has also very good static analysis uh, uh, tools uh, unable to start a virtual device please refer okay not an issue not this let me open this if it didn't work also it's okay let us create our own new virtual device it is still analyzing let it analyze let us see whether we can open our virtual device or uh, i think after updating it to windows uh, 11 there are a lot of issues actually okay it, it is uh, not opening let me try to create one sorry it is topic point one let me create a google pixel install still analyzing so in the meanwhile we'll see we'll wait for our uh, device to create uh, it was supposed to create a device i recently updated uh, windows 10 to windows 11 might be it is giving uh, some uh, uh, errors because of that not sure i need to uh, see what uh, like logs to see what is happening we'll see if we can start this uh, avd then fine or else uh, we'll show you how we can connect uh, avd with the mob sf in a in any live application analysis so that you will get a complete idea also Hope it has to work. Uh, okay, not an issue. I will uh, reinstall Jenny Motion later when it's uh, when it's done. So you can see in a mean like in a meanwhile in the back end uh, how mobile stuff is doing. So when you invoke, uh, see uh, APK is extracted and all the manifest file and extracting manifest data and analyzing the library files, shared object files dot is for me shared object and uh, depiling, decompiling to java with jada if it has a inbuilt and converting text files to smiley files smiley code and it is analyzing uh, the code also you can see that's why it's taking still time like it takes a lot of time so along with this there is another tool called exposed installer exposed installer is also very amazing uh, tool for uh, sas and dash also so there are uh, so many good tools but i prefer uh, these two because these two as uh, like expose installer and mob sf has very 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 uh, great great futures right so uh, i think it might take some time so let me pause the video and come back when it's ready okay yes guys uh, our report is uh, ready right now so like when the all complete scan is done you will get a, a report like this so which will be showing every each and every information like you know package in the from a package name to version target SDK, version code and the signature and ash and if at all if any security score it has to give and if any deductions are there and exported activities exported services because exported things are our main target right so uh, and uh, receivers providers everything everything if you want to see more about them it will show the activities which are uh, which all are available and it will also see show the services which all are available let us go one by one um 
and uh, coming to here uh, like you know it will give you a separate section to view a source code of entire the epic and if you want you can download the java code if you want you can download a smali code if you want you can download the other apk also i mean like once again if you want the apk you can download the apk so if you go here you can see the uh, java source code Oh yeah, it will be the Java source code. These are Android packages. Your main package will be the com package. If you go here, you can see everything. Com Duolingo is your main package actually. And here you can see all the uh, you know sub activities or sub package like sub folders or directories inside your package. Uh, you can see it is using reflection also Java. Lot of things, lot of things you can see inside this. So uh, you can see the signature details. Along with that, uh, you can uh, see the application. What are the permissions accessed from this app? Uh, you can see it asking get accounts, Wi-Fi state, and record audio, and and another API, like API, Android API, which has been invoked inside uh, this app so this is also very important thing and dosable activities in a sense using the schemas uh, url which you where you can uh, traverse uh, inside the apk if at all if any network security uh, you know uh, vulnerability is there base config is insecurely uh, configured to permit a clear text traffic to all domains in a sense in like you know uh, what you call uh, inspection of uh, traffic is very easily and uh, based on a manifest file any analysis like you know it is exported is true because uh, if at all if any content provider or activity is exported it will be more vulnerable for any kind of attacks all the exported things are mentioned here and some uh, code wide uh, if at all if any vulnerability is there they will give here you get, you get a guys you get a lot of lot of informations from me uh, like from like more myself you have to go one by one all right and uh, shared lab uh, like analysis these are a shared object file dot so files so that analysis will be there mm, id shared object doesn't have a stack canary value Right. So all all those of things, and if you come to malware analysis, you can see the the PK ID and text any like anti VM or anti root uh, codes are present. And if at all, if any servers like present, like suppose the happy app using Facebook package, so there will be a Facebook URLs. So oh, it will check all the server location where it is there. And other than that, uh, this is also very important reconnaissance. Um, it, it, it will show what all the URLs is available inside the APK. So these all are the URLs inside, used inside, that's using some local host. You can, you, you can see more inside this link. This, this local host is used inside uh, this code. You can, you can go to the particular file inside the Java source and you can search for what it is used for. And uh, Firebase uh, URL and uh, if at all if any emails is uh, hard coded uh, it will show here and trackers uh, yeah analytics uh, cash analytics uh, such kind of trackers and other important things are strings there will be a lot of strings if you scroll down a lot of lot of strings will be uh, given here and more than that hard coded secrets like if at all if anything like aws key or google api key see you can see right google api key google api key is also present here so this is also one of the you know uh, important thing because what all if uh, let me show let me let me see whether this google api key is uh, like vulnerable or not like 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 if they, this api key has some set of rules or, or not so we can we can see it directly from this url um, Yeah, this uh, Google API key has very good set of uh, restrictions. So this is how you can find some uh, hard coded uh, strings. Lot of lot of hard coded strings, hard coded secrets. You can see here. Uh, scroll down. It is in some other language. Even it will be converted. It will be in English also. It's all are in English. Like different, 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 different languages they have used. Right. So all of like uh, like. 
like as we earlier we see app components activity services which are exported and non exported everything which be included here if at all if any files like xml files or any uh, labeled files like it will be included here so this is just a overview of uh, you know uh, like overview report of uh, report generated by a mob itself so based on this report you can launch your attack or launch your uh, uh, like you know vulnerability assessment and another very good feature of uh, uh, you know uh, this mob itself is like you can go for a recent can and you will see what all the scans you have done so far so whenever you want you can directly open it like you need not to relaunch the uh, scan once again from the beginning uh, so if you go here, you can directly open like suppose uh, let me see country delight. Okay, if I if I directly open static analysis, all the analysis which have been already done, to click it will flow directly. It will not analyze and uh, once again, and it will not uh, make your time waste. So you can analyze it and suppose uh, suppose see uh, this is a uh, like country delight of five point four point five. Okay. Uh, if the, there might be another version release. Suppose it will be for five point five point five. So you want to see uh, what is the uh, difference, like what is the uh, upgrade or what is the uh, fixes done from that application. You can run the scan between uh, that, uh, like uh, that version application also. Then you can go for a diff for compare. So that time you can one half and other word and you can start difference. Right? Now you will find a lot of different because both are different, different application like this different and differ and compare you be very used in the applications of same app, app with different versions. So you can find what are the upgrades or patches they might have done in earlier versions, right? So this is a small uh, info about uh, MobSF security framework tool. Uh, this is a very good tool please do install and explore it right if you got any doubts or any issues in uh, installation please let us know we'll like we will be helping you right thank you guys see you again in another video bye bye don't forget to like us share us and subscribe us see you again